what does FH stand for? It stands for familial hypercholesterolemia. Familial means family, hyper means too much, cholesterol is an important fat in the blood, and emia is a Greek word meaning blood. FH is a genetic inheritance disease. It's passed on through the genes. It's a rise in um, bad cholesterol, but um, rather than just being normal high cholesterol, it's actually uh, genetics. There's a 50% chance of passing down through family members. People don't think that seems high, but it, it, it is actually. And lucky for me, <laughs> all three of my boys have got it. It's got nothing to do with bad diet or bad lifestyle or anything like that. It's a genetic condition. It's something you're either born with or you're not. It's quite common, we think. Um, something like one in 200 to one in 250 people have got familial hypercholesterolemia. Your bad cholesterol is fighting your good cholesterol, but in our body, our good cholesterol is not fighting our bad cholesterol. There's HDL, which is um, a good cholesterol, and LDL, which is a bad cholesterol. It's good to have high good cholesterol, yeah. uh, but not bad cholesterol. Um, and our, our bodies produce a lot of bad cholesterol, um, which then obviously can then clog up your arteries as it goes through your bloodstream. You just take a tablet, but your doctor gets you through it all. The, the, the medication that almost everybody uses are, are drugs called statins, and that's a tablet that you take once a day. We've only picked up a very small amount of people who have got FH, but it's a very common condition. It's the most common genetic condition and it's a very treatable condition. The current UK approach is to start treatment with a statin in around about the age of 10 in most kids. Um, in some children who've got really high cholesterol levels, we might do it a little bit earlier than that. Um, so you, you know you need to speak to the doctor that's looking after um, your child or, um, or you. Uh, when I found out, I was mostly scared of taking the tablets. I never took a tablet before, but I got used to it. Our parents help us make the right choices in like what to eat yeah. and stuff. Together with us, me and the boys, we know a lot about it now, so we support each other. Um, it's brilliant with the, our doctors, the nurse, from the nurses taking your bloods to going to the consultant, even the pharmacy giving you medication, everyone knows. So it's like, it is, it's like a little support group type of thing. Let's go a lot more often than me. They go every six, three to six three months. To six months yeah, just which depending. Is their yeah. age. I go annually. Mm. I pick carefully what I want to eat at school and stuff. I can't just eat like snacks all the time. It scares you when you don't know anything about it. So I'd get all the information you can from the consultants. Speak to the nurses, dietary nurses. There's <laughs> plenty of things that, that can be done and it's yeah. only going to get better. I have lots of support from my mum, my dad, my brothers and the genetic nurse. It doesn't affect my life anymore, not really. It's become more of our way of life. It doesn't affect my life, no. If you think that um, FH might be running through your family, so if there's people who develop heart disease early or get strokes early or there's even lots of people in your family that seem to have high cholesterol levels, there might be some other family members that are affected that don't know about it. And they could be children, they could be teenagers, they could be young adults. So, and this is something that we can fix. So it's something to be scared of. So, so bring it up, mention it to your GP. Um, they can refer you into whatever the local services are. And if we get it sorted, then there really isn't anything to worry about. So don't be afraid of it. Mm -hmm.